All right, Coach, you returned to Highland Arena after two tough losses on the road, uh, one, one against Washburn and then again on Monday against then number three Emporia State. What has been the focal point to getting back on track? It's, the focal point is, is our aggressiveness, uh, our ability to follow a game plan through times of adversity. I thought at times uh, – Against Emporia State, being on the road against number three, we held our own. And then when a couple bad things happened, we kind of fell apart. And we've been talking about that the last 36 hours, about how we need to stay together, uh, continue with the game plan, and, and not get uh, you know all shook up. Uh, stay with the game plan. Coach, you have not played here in St. Charles since December 20th. Uh, you hold a 4-2 and two record here at home. How important is it to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with now the number three ranked Fort Hayes State um, in your game on Thursday? I, you know, it's no matter who we're playing, you want to hold serve on your home court. It's important to take care of, of all your games that you play here. So I don't care if, if it's Fort Hayes State, the Los Angeles Lakers, or the Little Sisters of the Poor. We, we got a job ahead of us, and we got to take care of that. Coach, you cap off the week uh, with a Saturday afternoon game against Nebraska Kearney here in Highland. Um, what can we expect to see out of the Lady Lions on Saturday and just in the next two games in general? I, I, I'd like to think that we're going to come together and, and our offenses are going to start getting a little more smooth and, and we're going to start understanding the offense better and where our team, in relation to our teammates, uh, I, I expect us to play with even more enthusiasm than maybe what we have the last few games even here, you know, and they have been pretty decent but we continue we have to continue to improve all right coach thank you very much and uh, good luck in your next two games thank you